Hi, it's Jennifer with the World War II Research and Writing Center. I just finished practicing, um, again, my final program for Roots Tech, Battlefield Stories, which I'm giving Saturday next week at 11 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So if you're at Roots Tech, I invite you to join us. And the energy around that program is just intense. Oh my gosh. I, I'm telling a story at the end about my cousin, the Flying Tiger, Robert Brauch, that I've told a hundred times before, and I can't seem to get through it without choking up. So I definitely think bringing tissues will be a necessity at Roots Tech. But that made me think the story never shows up the way we think it will. And when I wrote Bob's story, I later wrote his widow's story and the course that her life took after his death. And they were only married three weeks when she watched him die in a plane crash. And when I wrote her book, I was writing my stories of the lost, getting ready to publish that. I gave the manuscript to my editor who went through it, gave it back to me, and I sat on it for several months because I wasn't ready to look at it. I was trying to finish other projects. And then when I did sit down to work on the Tiger's Widow edits, I did it in Starbucks because you can't cry in Starbucks when you do your writing. And I found out that day that wasn't true because I was channeling Bob my flying tiger who had all kinds of things to say about Ginny's story and I had to go home and I spent four days sobbing in my house as I did the rewrites. The story changed quite a bit. The beginning changed, the ending changed, and three other people joined the story that really weren't the focus and if you attend my talk at Roots Tech you'll hear who they were and you'll hear a short excerpt from the book of what happened. So if you're writing your stories of war, I would encourage you just to take your time and not beat yourself up if it takes you a whole year to do it, because sometimes we have to put these things down and just come back to them when the time is right, whether that's because new research has shown up or something in us has changed. And then we see where the story goes. So it never shows up the way you think it will. I invite you to my talk next Saturday and I encourage you to start writing your stories.